True Hoop TV, we are joined by the ever so smart ESPN insider, Tom Habistro. How you doing, Tom? What's happening, Ethan? All sorts of things are happening. A lot of threes are raining down from the skies of the NBA, and you've observed the top teams are, are, are shooting a lot of them. Is that the case? Yeah, uh, if you look at the standings, all the teams, you know, the Atlanta Hawks, the Golden State Warriors, the, the Clippers, the Portland Trailblazers, all those teams are chucking threes at rates we haven't seen in the NBA before. So, like, for example, the Houston Rockets, not a great team, but a pretty good team, is about to smash the NBA record for threes in a season. The average team shoots 22 uh, three-pointers per game. In 1994, when Houston won that title, they averaged 9.9, so we've already doubled that. We're 20% more threes than we were five years ago. So the threes are going way, 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 way up. And my question is, is this a good thing? Like, all these good teams are doing it, so it must ah, mean that it's smart. Thing, no, 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 it's not a good thing. You die by the three. You know, you think you live by it. You think you live by it? It's a mistake, man. It's a mistake. It's like excellent and driving. It's dangerous. But we have this idea of live by the three, die by the three. But what about like thrive by the three? Come on, I gotta. We gotta come up with something, a new coining of like, you know, pro three point met, you know, methodology in the NBA. Like you got the San Antonio Spurs took a ton of threes in the finals. The Miami Heat just won a title shooting threes. Uh, Dallas Mavericks. You go all the. Hey, that '94 Houston Rockets team led the NBA in three points taken. So three pointers taken. So. Clearly, you can win by shooting threes. But another thing that's interesting, Ethan, is the Houston Rockets don't have a good offense. They're mm. just about average. They're 14th in offensive efficiency. And the team above them is the Washington Wizards, who hates taking threes. So there is some idea that you don't have to take threes to win. Um, but the Washington Wizards, they're doing it without it. Yeah, well, that's just going to change. Josh Smith has just been added. He's going to start flinging up three-pointers all over, shooting 45% from deep. So that's temporary for the Houston Rockets. I, I wouldn't worry about it. Do you think that the reason people are suspicious of the three, here's my, here, here's my theory, Tom. I know I'm supposed to be interviewing you, but here's my theory. It's fun, so people are suspicious of it. It's like in football where they say you need to establish the run and you can't get pass happy. That's because passing is fun, and there's this strain of sports thinking that you need to have sacrifice and if you're dallying with something that we all enjoy, you can't be serious about winning. Right, and there's this whole curmudgeon, like, back in my day, we used to never take threes. And Kevin McHale, it's so funny, like, Kevin McHale um, is the coach of the team that takes the most threes. And if you ask, you know, who's the most curmudgeon or old school coach in the NBA, it's Kevin McHale, brilliant guy, but obviously is not, you know, I guess the Daryl Morey, uh, uh, you know, extension on the court, but yet he is going to be the guy who is bringing this new era of three point shooting. They are just, they're going to take 400 more threes this year than the NBA record. They're on pace right now to outdo it by 400 three pointers taken. So they're doing, Woo. they're doing an unbelievable job of shooting threes, but it's really tough to win when you got Josh Smith and Corey Brewer shooting those threes, right? That, that, that would be not ideal spacing. You know, I would say not ideal spacing indeed. Uh, so do you think that the conventional wisdom is going to change on this? That a lot of the former players, the retired players, that they're going to embrace and accept the three and uh, change their thinking on it? I don't think so. Um, I think it's the most exciting thing next to a dunk in the NBA. Like the, the crowd, if you're in an, an if you're at the Oracle and Clay Thompson unleashes a three, the place is going nuts before it even goes in. So from a fan perspective, they love shooting threes. Um, it's the most exciting thing in the game. Uh, so I don't think outside of dunks and athletic plays, but outside of that. Um, I think it's just kind of nostalgia um, that people think that not taking threes is better. But um, I, I, I don't suspect they're going to rein in the three-pointer or bring in the line. As you know, I'm a big proponent of the four-point line. Uh, but we won't even get there. That's another time, Ethan. Thanks for joining us. You got it, Ethan.